This is the ChatGTP prompt to end all prompts. It is literally a magic bullet if you use it right. It takes a bit of work. We're gonna work through it in this video. The very first thing you wanna do is copy and paste from down below. It's either gonna be in the description or a link to my website. Copy and paste this prompt into ChatGTP. We're gonna walk through it right now and then use it. So paste it right in here. It reads, you are a professional prompt engineer. I'm talking to ChatGTP right now. Your number one job is to help me craft the best possible prompt to get the results I want from ChatGTP. Here's the process. First, ask me what the prompt will be about. My answer will be pretty basic, so we need to improve it by iterating through the next steps. Number two, your response, as in ChatGTP, your response will include three sections. First section, iterated prompt. This is the prompt that you will rewrite each time I answer more questions. It should be clear, concise, and easily understood by you. Next part, suggestions. With your expansive prompt engineer knowledge, give me suggestions on how to improve the prompt. This is optional. I'll explain why in just a minute. Last section is questions. Make sure you ask questions to uncover details about my prompt needs that will help you craft the best prompt possible. That's the whole prompt right there. When I hit enter, we're gonna start working through it. Before I do that though, I wanna repeat the suggestions are optional. These can be pretty long-winded and they're not always super important depending what your prompt needs are. You're gonna see what I mean in this specific example we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna hit enter. This is even the free version of ChatGTP. This works on the ChatGTP Plus and the regular ChatGTP. Sure, let's begin. What will the prompt be? Please write a business plan for buying a bed and breakfast. By reading that, you've probably read some of the prompt styles that you've used in the past and I've used as well. This is where people stay stuck. They create prompts like this, total beginner mode, and they don't really learn how to improve on them. This video shows you how to improve on it. So let's hit enter with that basic prompt and look at the suggestions. In that case, it's actually pretty short. Last time I ran through this as a dry run before I recorded, the suggestions it gave were just crazy long. I'll show you the dry run after this video or at the end of this video. So iterated prompt, which is the prompt currently, write a business plan for purchasing a bed and breakfast. Suggestions to improve the prompt, it would be helpful to provide additional details about your specific goals and preferences for the bed and breakfast. You can read through that. The important part is the questions. Number one, could you provide some details about the location where you're interested in purchasing the bed and breakfast? Is there a specific region, city, or neighborhood you have in mind? Who do you envision as your target market? What are the key amenities and features? Do you have a budget in mind? Are there any unique selling points or special characteristics you'd like to incorporate in your bed and breakfast? These questions we can answer in the chat, and then ChatGTP is going to incorporate these into making a better prompt for us. I like to number them. You don't have to. You can actually add, add them just on separate lines. But for me to stay organized, I like to number them just so I know that number one down here relates to number one right up here. So specific location, let's go with Beverly Hills, California. Our target market, baby boomers, amenities, health spa and putting greens. Do you have a budget? Beverly Hills is pretty expensive. 20 million? Sure, chump change. Uh, any unique selling points? Um, a pool, yeah and hit enter once you've answered those questions. And then ChatGTP is gonna incorporate those answers into the new prompt, which is right here. And then ask more questions to refine it further. So let's see what the prompt is. Write a comprehensive business plan for purchasing a bed and breakfast in Beverly Hills, California, targeting baby boomers. The bed and breakfast will feature a health spa, putting greens, and a pool. The budget for the purchase is 20 million. More questions. What is the envisioned size and scope of the health spa? Could you provide more details about the putting greens? Are there any particular features or design elements you want to incorporate into the pool? In terms of the bed and breakfast capacity, how many rooms are you planning to have? What is your target occupancy rate for the bed and breakfast? These are all important questions when creating a business plan. If you were to use this prompt to create an article for a blog, the questions would be different. So it's super helpful working through these questions because I wasn't really thinking about this stuff. I mean, if I was really writing a business plan, I would have been. But for making this video, I wasn't thinking about these questions and answering them. So it's like having like a consultant with you right at your desk. It's pretty awesome. So let's run through this one more time to get a better prompt. Uh, let's say massages, manicures for the spa. More details about the putting greens. Um, 15 putting greens, PGA style. Particular features or design elements for the pool. Let's see, uh, it's heated and has a grotto. I think that's how you spell grotto. Bed and breakfast capacity, 20 rooms. Target occupancy, 75%. Hit enter. And now I've got the new prompt popping up right here. Just making it more specific. 
Write a comprehensive business plan for purchasing a bed and breakfast in Beverly Hills, California, targeting baby boomers. The bed and breakfast will feature a health spa offering massages and manicures, 15 PGA-style putting greens, a heated pool with a grotto, and a total of 20 rooms. The target occupancy rate is 75%. The budget for the purchase is $20 million. Seems like a pretty good description. I'm going to copy that. And if you see down below is more questions, making it even more specific. So if you work through this for an hour or so, you have a super specific prompt that you can use to create your content. For now, I'm going to say, all done. Thanks for your help. And now we take that prompt we just copied that we just created with ChatGTP, make a new chat, paste it in here. And I'm going to add, please, please write. And then it has that prompt we just read. Here it shows this information here in square brackets is for you to replace. So this is actually writing a business plan that you're going to send to an investor or take to your bank and you fill in all this information with their details. Then it has the business plan here and it's pretty awesome. Business plans are pretty long, so you likely have to use the continue hack. Chad GTP stopped right there. And that's not finished, it stopped mid-sentence. I like to say things like, that's awesome. I like to be encouraging. I know it's weird, but I like to be encouraging to the AI because it's just friendly. That's awesome. Great work. Can you please finish your thought or please finish the business plan? And now it should carry on right from right there. It even says, thank you for your kind words. So it appreciates me being nice to it, which is nice. So here it continues on. Ownership and management just finishes it off right there. And then it carries on. And then every time it stops, you just be kind and encouraging and it carries on. The crazy thing is, I find when I'm nice to ChatGTP, it's actually more helpful and nicer. Here's the conclusion. Also finished mid-sentence, you'd have to continue again right there. But this is a pretty solid looking first draft for a business plan. Me personally, I wouldn't print this off and take it to the bank. I'd read through it, I'd improve it, I'd edit it, I'd make sure it's really what I want it to be. For example, Hillside Haven, I think that's not a real thing. So you have to fact check a lot of stuff, but it's it's a great template to work with. And that's all using that prompt we saw a moment ago, and you can use that for anything. You can use it for making blog articles, you can use it for making mid-journey prompts, you can use it for creating business plans. You can use it for so many things that I think it might be the best prompt in your repertoire because it helps you make all your other prompts way better. So if you found this helpful, please like this video and subscribe and that lets me know that you found this video helpful so I can make more videos that are helpful to you. Next up, check out this playlist right here which is all about ChatGTP and improving your workflow, improving your productivity, just getting way better at it. So check out that playlist. My name is Bjorn from the AI Underground. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.